Okay, so people have been asking how to get more color in Bitsy. So what I'm going to show you here is uh, a couple of ways that that can happen. One is if you look at this room, I'm using the blueprint color palette, which shows a background color of dark blue. That's the, the blank spaces here. The tile color being light blue. That's all these tiles. And then the sprite color is white. So you can see the cat is white. So is the avatar. But somehow I've got a red apple, a green pear, and a, well, in this case, a red set of grapes. And uh, how did I do that? So that's what I'm going to show you. If you look at each of those uh, sprites, there's grapes, there's a pear, and there's an apple, but they show up white like they're supposed to according to the blueprint palette. But what I've done is I've gone over to game data and I've made some changes there so this will work. Before you edit the game data, make sure you download it first. Just in case you break something, you can upload it again and go back to where you were. Normally, the palette, there's only one palette in here, so it says palette zero. There would be another section for palette one if I had a second palette and so on. Luckily, it also puts the name in here, so we know that's the one, blueprint. And if you look, there are a multi multiple colors here. Normally, you should just see three colors. Each of those colors is, you know, each line is a separate color and each each uh, color is defined by the amount of red, the amount of green, and the amount of blue, so RGB. So you can see here from these three colors that the first one is mostly blue, which makes sense for that one, and this one is mostly blue as well, and that's that one, and then uh, this is all red, all green, and all blue. So these numbers go from 0 to 255, so that's a maximum amount of red, green, and blue, and that makes white. So th that's what you would normally see, and those are numbered uh, if you wanted to access them, this is color 0, color 1, and color 2. Starts starts numbering with 0, just like palettes, rooms, sprites, and so on. They all start with zeros. So um, this, what I've done is I've added three new colors. And you can get these RGB values uh, by looking around in like Photoshop or other tools that can give you RGB values. There are lots of websites that will do that. But uh, I've, I've added three new colors, and so these would be colors number 3, 4, and 5. And you can see here, this one is mostly, uh, this one's all red, right, and no green and no blue, so that must be the apple. So uh, colors, uh, I, and I guess this one is probably the purple, I would imagine. Uh, yeah, I think that one's maybe the purple, so that's color 0, 1, 2, 3. So if I jump down to the actual sprite definitions, here is the cat, you can see there, and here is an apple. So what I've done is you won't have this line, and I added this line. So this is color four. So that says from that list above, choose color number four, zero, one, two, three, four. That's the one that's all red, and that's how it defines the color for that one. So I did the same thing for uh, the pear. I added color five, and then this one, grapes, should be color six. If I make a change here, it doesn't change immediately. You have to click somewhere else in there, and this keeps popping up for some reason, but. Uh, well, okay, so that's wrong. Uh, three, okay, so it's, I guess it's color three, not six. I'm making that up. Color three, let's try that again. I'll click over here, and that's popping up for some reason. So there we go, there's my purple. So um, that's how you do it, uh, and that gives us a bunch of color. I don't know how many colors, maybe it's infinite, I'm not sure. But another simple way to get some color that you wouldn't expect is if you put a sprite on top of uh, a tile, right? So I'm just going to do a regular um, new sprite here and I'll just call it like dot and I'll make like a, a dot over here in the corner. So there it is, there's my sprite and I can put it over here but you can see it loses the tile underneath it and that's just the default but what I can do dot. Uh, it lost that for some reason. So let me let me check over here in the game data and see if dot shows up. So I should have a sprite called dot. There it is. It's letter F and you can see the representation of it. That's the, the ones over there represent the, the colored in squares. And what I can do here is say background color star. So if I add that at the bottom uh, we should see that it now has a clear background. And if it doesn't work, it didn't work for me the first time, you have to, I think everything disappeared when I did it, just reload the page. It seems like Bitsy 8 has this thing where you have to reload the page sometimes to get everything back in order. But um, now you can see though that I've got in one, one square here, I've got two colors going on. So that's an easy way 
to have uh, multiple colors happening that sort of overlap each other. So hopefully that helps. There's two different ways of getting some new uh, possibilities with color in Bitsy 8.